so in the last two that I've built, I've um, purchased some threaded bar. This is M4 threaded bar, which is four millimeter diameter threaded bar um, from B&Q. Um, uh, other DIY shops are available, along with um, some M4 uh, nuts. Um, and uh, I 3D printed these um, capacitor end plates, uh, which, uh, take about three and a half hours each to do. And you need obviously two of those. Um, they're not brilliant, but they do the job. And obviously I printed a, a dial or a knob, which um, again takes, uh, know, takes two and a half hours to do. Uh, so it's an overnight um, 3D printing session. Uh, and then what I've done is I've got a piece of rod and I've cut it into five lengths. Um, I've got, uh, you can see quite a few lengths of it, um, not being specific in length, um, and I'm going to now build the capacitor, and in the past what I've done is actually put these plates right against um, the plastic, uh, and, and then built it that way. Well this time I'm going to do it slightly different, um, I've decided to build the plates outside of the holder. Um, so I'm going to have a nut, a washer, then the plate, um, and then the spacer, then a plate, then a spacer, then a plate. And I'm going to have um, four plates and three um, uh, rotators. So four stators, three rotators, uh, and obviously actually it's going to be eight um, stators because there's one on each side. This is a butterfly capacitor. Uh, and then I'll um, put the sides to it and bolt them all up nice and tight and see if it works. And then measure it and see uh, what capacity it is. I need a minimum of 16 picofarads uh, for this particular antenna. Uh, it should be 15, but I think I've made the, uh, um, the antenna a little bit short. So to make it work properly, I need a, a couple more uh, puffs. Anyway, let's, uh, let's build it. These are stainless steel um, spacers from uh, Radio Spares, RS, other electrical retailers are available. Um, I decided to, to use uh, that particular company because, well, they're local to me, to be perfectly honest, so uh, it just seemed logical uh, to use those. Um, is that going to work? might work. Might have problems with that one. So let's get a, a nut out of the bag. Again M4 stainless steel nuts. Start building. Space up. One more. And then we need a washer. And a nut. Hmm. That's 
See if I can wind them on. Okay, let's tension that. I need to put the plates under tension. Um, first and foremost, really, just so that it, uh, it works. Let me just go and get a spanner. One done. One side done. Okay. Magic. Do the same to the other side. Do we need two more rods? Sounds about right, doesn't it? Okay, alignment time.
Right. Next job. Center. No. It's going to be a free piece one. I want three of these. So it's two spaces. Simple enough to do. Nice big long. That one will do. Now what we need to do is work out how we're going to do this. It's probably going to have to be yeah, okay. exciting. all out of shape as you can see but that's okay because we can bend these fins back to where we need them once the tension's on them what we don't know is the spacing. So as we're going to be in the middle, see at the moment as you can see it's all over the shop so we need to suss out now how much space we need so it's actually another nut. Mm. Definitely out of alignment. Another nut. for one side, not so good for the other. Let's see if we can Right. It's really stiff to turn, which is no bad thing. So, three, 
or six, six to 20, uh, 22. Cool. <laughs> Coolio, what the capacitance is. Just set it to zero, calculating OK. And then the bottom one. Fully meshed, is it fully meshed? Yep. 22, I think it is. Yeah, close enough. I think that's a win. Let's see what it sounds like on the air. Spiral loop. DX Commander. And fed half. No preamp on the entered half wave. The X Commander. Spiral loop.